Hey everybody, it's me, Heaven again. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing magnificent. And welcome back to my channel. But also welcome back to those who never seen me before or anything. But anyways, uh, yeah, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I got these. Oh, I'm just so excited to try these out with you guys because I was like going insane to be honest <laughs> like what was it in the last month kind of the end of last month like I went to uh sprouts uh to see you know what kind of like you know uh chocolate bars they have and oh my goodness they have they have these chocolate bars that I really wanted to try before like, I never ate those before, especially, except for one uh, company um, I've tried before, but not this flavor. Like, you know? And they have the other ones, like, um, I'll, show, I'll show what I got, because I, I was going crazy. Uh, <laughs> not really going crazy, but, you know, like, I was just excited, super excited to see them, because I don't know if they change all, sometimes, like, their stuff, I don't know, egg and sprouts, but I'm not sure, but. So I'm going crazy right now, but, um, yeah, so this was like going to be like a long video kind of, I don't know. But, um, first I want to show you that I got, I think it's called Cho, as you can see. I've heard about this, but I never ate it before, and I'm so excited. This is a classic milk chocolate, creamy milk chocolate with caramel notes. It's a USDA organic, fair trade certified ingredients, that's great, uh, it's so the 39% cacao. And... Oh, it's like, oh, okay. Uh, sorry, just a second. Okay, it's in California. But anyways, okay, so for kosher dairy, but earth kosher. And there's, I got this one. I know, I know there's other flavors, and I saw online there's other flavors I really want to try so much, but I don't, but they don't have those other flavors when I saw in Sprouts. And then there's another one, another flavor, I think. I don't remember. But I just got this because I never ate it before, so I cannot wait to try this out. Oh, it looks really, really good. I love the packaging. Do you see the packaging? It's like gold dots around, and it's this nice uh, certain type of blue color like look like a baby blue or something but it looks nice i like the packaging as you can see there's the back anyways i got this i never i never tried this one but this one i got this Rita sport and actually i've tried Rita sport before the whole uh the whole hazelnuts with milk chocolate i tried that one was really good i think that's the only flavor i tried before i think the dark chocolate was hazelnuts too or something like that i don't remember but the one with hazelnuts I've tried before, and I don't know, I don't remember if I tried another thing, but there are, I don't know if there's two types of flavors, I don't remember, but I know the hazelnuts, I know the whole hazelnuts, milk chocolate or something, I've tasted that, I just love it, and I just love, I love Rita Sport, like, they have, uh, I don't know, I've always wanted to try, the, like, many other, like, Rita Sport, like, just, I just love Rita Sport, like, I, I don't, I think they have it, like, in, it's an actual marketplace too, but I don't, I never got like a different kind of flavors that I think they have other flavors, but anyways, um, let's get to the point. Uh, this is the dark milk chocolate that I got. This is the smooth 55% cacao with, ch with cocoa mass from Ghana. As you can see, it looks really good. Cacao selection. And yeah, I don't know how new this is or under. But I got the 55%, but I saw they have, uh, was it 64%, something like 64, 61%, and 74%. The 61 or 64, I don't know, I think it's from Nicaragua, and then the other one is from Peru. I haven't, I didn't, like, I'm just nervous to try those two, like, but I'm interested now in trying the 64 or 61% one from Nicaragua. Sounds really good. I heard this one's sweet, but I like it, though. That's why I got this, because it's like, it means not gonna be like too too bitter because I don't know like like eighty eight percent or around that, that amount percent dark chocolate. Like even though I love cho uh, dark chocolate, but not too bitter. I don't know like. But so I just got this. I th you know the the lesser one or something like that. Doesn't the sweeter one? I think this is sweet. I never tried this one before, so 
I think it's the, I don't know, the set is, I don't know, but anyways, this is the, uh, with 55% cacao, and it feels like, you know, I might like this one. The other one I want to try now, before I was like, I didn't want to try, but what if it's too bitter for me? But I know the mid 74, probably, yeah, for me. But anyways, I'm going to the third one. This down is like the most I'm excited about, the most excited. Uh, and even this one too, like, this one I'm most excited. This one too, but I haven't, I think I never heard of it. Like, the, the flavor, not the Spore. Like, I've tried Aretta Spore before. But anyways, this one. Tony's uh, Choco Lonely. And this is, I got the 32% milk chocolate one. Because I never tried it before. So I wanted to, you know, just on the base, you know, the, the regular one. Like, you know. Actually, I, I saw the almond sea salt one and also the caramel sea salt. And I wanted to get the caramel sea salt, but then I love caramel with chocolate, but I do not like sea salt with chocolate. You know, it's really, really nasty for, to me. It is. Um, I tried, like, sea salt with chocolate. I forgot what brand it is. I just, ugh. It, I mix for sea. I don't know why I bought it, but anyways. Okay, so this is a, from a Dutch... I just want her like this is really amazing what they do. It's like a Dutch company. I think from Am Amsterdam, right? Yeah, like a, you know, a, D a Dutch company made in Belgium, distributed by Tony Chocolonely in New York, New York. But I know this is from. I don't know if they make also here in the United States, but I know this is a Dutch company. This is a Dutch company, and they do. I think this is fair trade chocolate too that they do, but also I heard that this they do as you can see right here. You see that right there? Yeah, this is a together own baked chocolate, one hundred percent, one hundred percent slave free, and they have one hundred percent slave free chocolate. This industry they against slavery, and they, in the chocolate in industry, I didn't, I, I didn't know, like. There's, there's still going on like the child slavery, like, and the, um, and the truck industry, and I heard that. Sorry, it's taking a long time. I'm sorry, but just I want to explain this. Like, I heard that, like, you know, you know how like other bars they have, like, you know, the bar is like squared, right? This one is like broken up. So it's, I think it's, it says trying to make statement that, that is like uh, the. Chocolate industry or something is like is unfair, is like is un is unequally divided in the in the chocolate industry. Like something I don't remember is exactly. I can look it up or I can just read it here. I think they have it. Um, something about that. So it's not just random, you know, broken up like that. You know, I think it's about that. But also, I think it says also is the line equator somewhere and I don't know in Ghana or like some line equator that said, but. Anyways, sorry, it's, I don't know it's a long time back. I, I, I gotta, like, explain it. Because this is, what I, I saw, like, a few videos of theirs, and I think it's just amazing what they do. I think that, I think other chocolate companies, I think they should not do anything about slave-free things. I mean, anything about slavery, I'm sorry. And hers, like, the most have, ch like, child slavery. I'm like, that's so bad. I don't even, like, know, like, you know. I'm just like, Yeah. I hope the other chocolate industries will follow in their footsteps and the cho Tony's cho Choco Lonely's footsteps because that needs to change, you know. And I don't know how, exactly which chocolate industry, like chocolate company. But anyways, let's get on with the taste test because I'm so excited. Sorry, I'm going crazy right now. So let's try I want to try this one first. Like, I want to try this one first. So, yeah. I'm so nervous. I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna eat all of them later, like literally. But anyways, let's get on with it. So, so this pre circle. Da 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 da. Okay, so just open it. I don't know if I have other flavors and sprouts that I found. I found it there too. <laughs> Look right here. It says just say cho. And that's how you pronounce it. I mean, that's what. I didn't know at first. So open it like that. This is pretty cool. I like the packaging. Like sometimes there's some chocolates that are like their packaging is pretty cool. Okay, I can okay, I can smell anything from here. So do that. So 
So I'm gonna be kind of like a long video. That's what it's gonna feel like to me, and I'm sorry about it. But I just gotta do all three of them at the same time, and yeah. So. Okay. Okay, I should just do like that. What is wrong with me? That. You know, like I'm. Yeah. Ooh, that smells really good. It smells sweet and nice. So, I hope it doesn't break up. These three, I hope it doesn't is not broken or anything. Ooh, or so melted or anything. Ooh, ooh! Sorry, I just like the design. You see this? We got that cho, and you can see that line design. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's like an it's like one's up, one down. Like I don't know how to explain it. Do you see that? I like it. It's really nice and shiny. I'm sorry, I don't know if you can see it, but I was like so nice. It was nice and sweet. See. So okay, let's just break a piece of this show. Ooh, okay, first oh my gosh, okay. First of all is getting okay. Okay, let's break a little bit of that. You can see the line, right? You can see the line. So let's taste it because it smells nice and sweet. Like I don't, know, I don't, I don't know what to compare it to, but it's nice. I don't know when I can get more of this. To be honest, man. Mmm. Okay, I'm not biting this. I just want to see how it melts. And that's quite nice. It's smooth. Mm. Let's bite it. Mm. It's nice and chewy. It's creamy. Mm. This is that soft. It melts in your mouth. And it's not too sweet, you know. It's sweet, but it's not like sick, sickly sweet. And it's like chewy. It's like chewy and creamy and nice. Hmm. Hmm. -hmm. This is so good. Um. Okay, um, this is really good. Have one more bite. Just have one more bite. That's good. This is good quality chocolate. Mmm. I'm so glad I got it. Because it's rich. It's like fudgy type. Not fudgy type. Like, it's just really, it's like, it's good quality chocolate. Like, you can tell it's a good quality chocolate. It's not like waxy. It's not like chalky. It's really, it's like smooth. It's rich. It's creamy. It's, it melts in the mouth real nice. It's like a chocolate ice cream that's made into like. A chocolate bar or something. Mm hmm Let's go with the next. I'm gonna see later or something. <laughs> Sorry. This I give it ten out of ten. Like it's, it's like and like the aftertaste like like it's a good Oh my gosh, good quality chocolate right here. Let me tell you what. Okay.
clean toilet. Like clean the palette. Oh, goodness. Okay, so next I'm gonna try this. This is gonna look so good. This is products of Germany, obviously. This is the richest part. Uh I'm so excited. And then how to, I really like how they make it, I like how they like lay open it. Right here it says quality chocolate, you know, square. Then it says Nick Nick pack break here to open. I really like it like this. Oh, there we go. See that? Oh my gosh. Like that. I think you open it like this. It's been a while since I've ate with a sport. I don't know, but I have to. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh, I can smell oh because this is I know it's dark chocolate, right? I think those th these three of different levels of cacao. I think it's all dark chocolate, but it's different levels, I think. Cause it let's see huh? Ooh. Sorry that you don't see the whole I don't actually show you the whole um bar, but I just like to break like that, <laughs> to be honest with you. And this is part of it, what it looks like, right here. It's smaller. It says Red of Sport, Red of Sport. I like the, the look of it, to be honest, you know. But the, I think the original one, the other one, like, you know, is more bigger and has, like, three columns or three rows of something like that, I think. But this one's much smaller. You can smell the, like, the semi-sweetness of it. It doesn't smell like sweet, like the cho one. Like, it doesn't smell like, 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 you know, milk chocolate, like milk chocolate. It smells like, it's, it's dark chocolate, but it doesn't smell too bitter. Well, let's try, oops. Let's try, like, uh, two blocks. This is like, hmm, I love a sport. <laughs> Good quality chocolate. And this is kind of, like, this is, it's like semi-sweet. It's not too sweet. To me, like, to me personally, it, to me it's not, like, too sweet. It's not, like, the cho that I tasted. I mean, it's dark chocolate, but it's, it's on the less bitter side because we know fifty five percent. Um, so like, is like like it's dark chocolate and it tastes like kind of less sweet. It tastes sweet, but then it's not too sweet. It's like in the middle, like you know, it's not sweet, sweet. And when you bite down, like it's it's like a hard type. It's not crunchy or anything. I'm saying like um, it's a hard uh, it's like a solid um chocolate you know the the other one is like a solid chocolate but that's like softer you know this is not like so when you bite down it's not like soft you know like but it's like it's creamy it's like um hmm. i'm gonna keep chewing it gets softer it's melts in the mouth you know but when you first chew it and chew it and chew it, it's like, it doesn't melt fast. Obviously, it's dark chocolate. And it's, but it's really nice. I don't think I can eat all of this in one go today. Maybe, I don't know. Because it's so good. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not sickly sweet. It's not too sweet. It's kind of sweet to me. I hurt with my bed down a little bit. I'm gonna just me. Mm. Okay. I'm sorry, this is a long video. I'm still here. Thank you so much for bearing with me. I need to stop keep eating this and all that. That's good chocolate. I give it 10 out of 10 as well. Obviously, with a sport, it's so good. 
So I was gonna try that yogurt one. That strawberry rock yogurt one. It was probably bad. Alright. But I don't know where it is. I think it's international marketplace somewhere where I live. But anyways, that's a good chocolate. And I also give it 10 out of 10. Like, it's really good. It's, it's, it's good quality. It's like, it's one of those like solid, solid um chocolate. Because it's dark chocolate, so it doesn't melt that fast like milk chocolate, you know, obviously. It's like when you keep chewing it, it's, it's not it's like, it's, in, it's not like it's still dry. I don't explain it. Like, it just gets a little bit softer or something. It just, I'm sorry, I don't explain it, but this is good chocolate not that sweet a little bit sweet but not that not that sweet no it's not as sweet as milk chocolate it means dark chocolate so but it's, it's not too bitter it's kind of bitter to me and personally it's kind of like bitter but not like too bitter you know it can you can taste the bitterness like let me taste bitterness type thing but also you can taste a little bit of sweetness too like both like I think it, it kind of like semi-sweet in a way. I think that's what it is. I don't remember. Because semi-sweet is like, it's not too sweet, but then it's not too bitter, you know? So, but anyways, last but not least. I'm so excited. Like, I want to get the caramel sea salt one, but the caramel the sea salt, oh my gosh. Uh, I, I know I'm not gonna like it, and I can't say. Can I just say that like this is thick, and and this is thick, man. It's nice though. I like it. Um, this and this wrapper this is recycled. I think that's totally, but anyways, here it says something right here, so I'm gonna read it. it. Says crazy about chocolate, serious about people. Hi there, we're Tony's cho uh, Choco Lonely. We exist to end modern slavery and illegal child labor in the chocolate industry. Our vision is 100% slave-free chocolate. Not just our chocolate, but all chocolate worldwide. The more people join us and share our story, the sooner 100% slave-free chocolate becomes the norm. The choice is yours. Are you in? I want to be in. Definitely. Definitely want to be in. Because this is, this is great what they do. The uh, Dutch... Company Dutch Amsterdam company was it Amsterdam raised in Amsterdam? But as a Dutch company, I think they make the Belgian fair trade milk chocolate. Ooh, and it says Psst, check the inside of this wrapper. So I know there's something inside of the wrapper. I've seen other uh, reviews. So so open like that. I like the packaging. Ooh. That and da -da. see there's something inside. I love when somebody do something like that. It's just is a nice thing, you know, to end a modern ch savory illegal child labor. That's is insane. So let us. So this is what's inside. See, as you can see, the the form of it. I get what I'm saying. I love the the look of it. Like I love their. It's, and to share our chocolate, share our story. Right now, there is slavery on cocoa farms in West Africa. This is a result of the unequally divided cocoa chain. Tony's Chocolonely's Chocolonely exists to change that. Our vision is 100% slave-free chocolate, not just our chocolate, but all chocolate worldwide. With incredibly taste, tasty chocolate, we lead by example and show the world that chocolate can be made differently. And taste, packaging, and the way we do business with Cocoa Farms. Um, alone we'll make slave-free chocolate, but together we can make all chocolate 100% slave-free. So we ask you to join us. The more people who join our mission and share our story, the sooner 100% slave-free slave-free becomes the norm in chocolate. The choice is yours. Are you in? Uh, yeah. So. See? Yeah, this. Oh, I can't really read. But anyways, that's what it is. But anyways, it's nice. I mean, it's great what they're doing, and the show keep doing it. You know, 
Cobra becomes the norm. That's that the slave free chocolate becomes the norm. Uh anyways, let's open this up. I'm excited. This is so thick, could you see that? Look how thick this is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, let me just Ooh, smells smells nice. I'm be the most sugared up person right here. What is it? Okay. Sorry, I'll just open it and say for a second like put it back. When I'm done eating it. So this ooh wow. Oh it's kind of you know, in a way. So I mean it's still okay. Look how amazing this is. Can I just say? Look how Ooh, it's like kinda of like melted, but not too bad, you know. As you can see, look at that. And it's like this, because again. Oh my gosh. You see, I don't know, can, can you see it? Yeah. Uh, that's really cool, like design, oh my gosh. This is like, it looks fast, like, can you see that? I don't know, anyways. <sighs> Sorry guys, we're almost done here. Uh, so yeah, so I love the design and it smells nice and sweet. It smells, uh, smells smells nice, sweet like soft chocolate milk chocolate smell. And you can see this is this the equator line equator or something like that is how like it's undivided like unequally in the chocolate industry or like something like that something like that. And um, sorry a second. So that, I think this feels like this is gonna be like a soft type of bar, like you know. So let's just go add a piece. I'm just creating. Okay, so let's just grab piece. Of it. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's melty. Like I can tell. Like this. This is good. Good quality chocolate. I never ate it before, but I can just tell, like, but right now, like this. So just get a piece. Ooh, okay, 20 chocolate only. 30, was it? 32% milk chocolate. So let us see. Look at this big old thickness. I love it. Hmm. Mmm. I'm not exaggerating. I'm gonna get more of this. I'm not gonna lie. This is so good. I'm not playing around with anything. I'm not, I'm not acting. This is so good. The, <clears throat> it's like soft, it's chewy. I like how it's like thick and just, just a lot of good flavors. Like, like a, it's a nice, okay, it's, it's nice, rich, it's really creamy. Even just like by touching, it's like, it melts fast, like, you know, like, and it's just creamy. It's like, even when you bite it, it's chewy. It's, ah, oh, it's not like sickly sweet either. It's like, it's soft and it's just so nice. <laughs> like, mmm. Amazing. It's so chocolatey. I'm gonna give this like 11 out of 10. Or like, 17 out of 10, I don't know. 
This is like the winner right here. I love all three of them. But this one is like, it's not that weird. It doesn't, it does not get that, it, you don't get that weird aftertaste or something like that. Like, I don't know. It's, it really, it's really nice. It's like really nice. Like how they make it. Also, of course, like, um, the message and the, the, the things that they're teaching other people about, you know, getting, about uh, making it known to people about what's going on. And their chocolate is really delicious. To be honest, I don't know what these other two that have chocolate is. I don't know if it's like chow slavery type thing. I'm not sure because I don't know exactly what, you know, uh, chow say, uh, savory chocolate is. The company, like, you know, because I don't know, you know, want to, like, was called participate, like, you know, like, support or anything like that, you know? So, I mean, I just, it's like, my goodness. It's really good. Oh, it's so chocolate. It's like, it melts. This is really good. This is high quality. It's not a grainy, like, it's not grainy, it's not chalky, it's not like, it doesn't, it doesn't smell like cheese, <laughs> it doesn't smell crazy or anything, it's, it's, it tastes great. I just love the thickness too as well, like it just fills your cho your mouth with chocolatey goodness. You know? I'm gonna bite down, it's like chewy. And it's nice, soft. Mmm. This is good chocolate. Right amount of sweetness. Right amount of sweetness. You know. This is like just good real chocolate. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm done now. So good. I gotta save some of this. I gotta save half of this because... And to make a last. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's really good. It's just really good chocolate. Like, real good quality chocolate. And it's hence to say free too. That is great. Mm hmm. Okay, we're done. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can just eat this a little bit more after this. Um. Uh, Here. Uh, yeah, so. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of stuff. I was wanting to do a one by one and stuff like that, but I think maybe it's not going to be that fun. That, whatever. But, anyways, we're done. I hope you like this. I hope you like this video. I hope you guys can understand what I'm trying to say and explaining these amazing, delicious chocolates. Ooh, I need to calm down. I'm just a chocolate home because it's crazy. Excuse <laughs> But, um, anyways, yeah, I hope you guys can understand what I'm trying to, like, uh, convey, kind of explain this amazing, delicious, good quality, high quality chocolates. Um, yeah, so I hope you like this video. <laughs> I'm sorry it's long. Ugh, I'm gonna, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, but anyways... I hope you guys have a great day. If you like this video, you can like, uh, can give it a like. You can subscribe if you like. Um, if you, what do you think about? I don't know. <laughs> Correct anything in the comments down below if you like. You know, uh, I also appreciate you know any feedbacks too as well. Yes. Um. Yeah. So yeah. So thank you again for watching, for liking, for subscribing, for everything for. Given a chance to read, uh, watch this video, um, this crazy video. But anyways, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and hope to see you guys on the next video. Alrighty, hey, bye.